Right, so welcome back. And now let's continue with the, the developing the understanding for different menus. I click on file menu here. And out here you can see these are the options that we are seeing here. So when you click on new, a new file will open up over here. Okay, and then it will show you the properties that govern this particular file. So I'll cancel this and I'll close this window. And then thereafter, if you click on file open, it will ask you for files which are already created or prepared. So if I click on something like, no, no, we have not created any um, files. So they'll not show up over here. So, but of course, um, if you have created any files and they would have showed up over here, but and then you open that file and start working on that but we'll be doing that again so that is not a problem then you see here the gallery now when I click on gallery now this is the gallery that we have okay uh, these are some of the PCBs that they had already designed as part of um, examples that you can take a look at and understand so this is the gallery that they have now when you click on the new gallery then again a new blank board will open up so you can see here and um, when you open this, it will open a standard di Windows dialog. So, and here you can change the files, category, all my, my PCBs of Paul, whatever that is the categories that they have created. That is specific to the software that is there. So, that is another part of the software. And I click on file and I click close the entire software will close I can click save if I want to save this file then I'll save it so it's asking me what should I save this as and where should I save it so you can select your location and save it accordingly when you click on file again you can select on export files for manual order now when you do this you need to of course save the file we've not done anything like that as such so that's fine you can import express PCB parts, you can import Eagle part also. But then again, um, we do not have those parts in specifics. So out here you'll have to enter. Now when you click on import express PCB parts, out here we can see that you have to enter the category. Now this category is such that it has been organized in the design gallery. So if I type in diode, then what happens? So um, that is what we had as far as the imports were concerned. Now you can also import prof part from Snap EDA. Now typically Eagle part or Express PCB part or Snap EDA part, these are the different libraries of uh, various components that you can use. You can also save to user defined parts folder. So typically uh, when it comes to imports, you can uh, import components in space from all the possible available uh, libraries that they have provided us with. And it becomes very handy and convenient also. Then thereafter you have print. If you want to print, you can inspect, you can take a proof, you can transfer edge. So these are the, like, you know, prints that you can take. And uh, this is quite interesting, actually. Uh, once, we, when, once we start doing it, you will find it a lot more interesting and likable. So, um, right, that's what we have. Now, there are advanced options also. Print negative, hide, board, background, and fit to single page so um, these are the things that we can you all can do when it comes to print then you have link schematic to PCB now we have the schematic we have already um, prepared the schematic so let us let me quickly show you all no it's not here it's got to be yeah now here we have these schematics I had prepared these two schematics and you can uh, review the other see now since the schematic is already prepared it is giving up the output the schematic was linked successfully and I click OK the power supply schematic file will be used to validate the current layout which means after I have designed the PCB that will this particular schematic will be validating whether the layout has been done correctly or not uh, if it's not then it will throw up errors and all 
so that's how it will work and yeah it matches the current design okay so that is how this is going to be um, next is in the file menu yeah these are the you can also validate the netlist now of course this comes later there is already a schematic file link do you want to use another one no I don't want to so this will validate of course so this is what here as far as the file menu and of course if you click on exit uh, the software closes and after the file menu you have the edit menu so in edit menu again there is not much of a difference really these are some of the standard um, options or the choices of features that are available as part of the overall software whichever kind of software you'll use so you can also undo delete you can redo you can cut copy paste you can select all you can select none duplicate delete find find next so relatively the edit menu is a relatively simpler and rather self-explanatory after that let us take a quick look at the help menu because out here you can see um, the help menu also has limited um, options like and choices so uh, let's if I click on get getting started it will open this particular window you can see there are 22 pages and it will explain you about how to add the different parts and um, adding holes and you know, how to go about the overall drawing traces and designs and all text labels so that is one thing that apart if you want to click on help contents you go on the help contents and it will show you what all it can do for you see now out here it is it's a very healthy count of help details that they have provided us with what's continuity suppose if I click on continuity so what is this continuity it checks for electrical shorts between power and ground you click on any trace to inspect and follow the electrical path so th these are some very important um, features that are available here and um, that will be very useful now that is copper pores dynamically create large field areas with electrical clearance for elements these fills reduce noise heat and etch time it also creates the bill of material so that is what the help contents is PCB manufacturing example PCBs and about so this gives us the version details and also typically this is what we have as far as the help menu is concerned and yeah of course if you click on PCB manufacturing it will ask as you want to open let's open this it will take you to the uh, express PCBs website and then it will ask you which kind of PCB do you want to manufacture a standard plus or a standard mini board plus and then it has its own prices so these are the different PCB types that they manufacture this particular company manufactures and uh, after that example PCBs yes we have the example PCBs if I take this particular PCB it will open up over here now this is something that was already shown to you all in the gallery also so this is how your express PCB will uh, this is how your USB board look like so that is the example that you saw here example PCBs so that is what we have as far as the help menu is concerned and um, in the next slides we'll take a look at the remaining menus typically design info grid view and arrange so till then thank you for attending this particular session